I started pole dancing from watching YouTube videos and I was really inspired so I put a pole up in my room and started teaching myself pole tricks and just kept progressing and progressing. Slowly I started teaching and competing and it's one thing has led to another. Now I've left my engineering career and I'm a full-time traveling pole artist. So as of right now, I decided to stop competing in the U.S. because I wanted to take this time to give back to the community that has given me so much. So I have just been traveling and teaching and trying to share my knowledge and my skill set and my passion and love for pole. How did you get started with Mina as a doubles routine? Mina and I got started because it was the first doubles competition in 2010 put on by East Meets West. And she was like, I want you to be my doubles partner. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and so we started experimenting and trying different things. And we've been working as a doubles partner pair since 2010. I've been following you for a while and you have definitely increased your flexibility. How are you doing that? I stretch a lot. I stretch a lot, but also it's not just about increasing flexibility on the floor. It's about increasing your active flexibility, which is what I've been working on. And I'm doing just a lot of like dynamic movement in my warm up to just dig deeper, you know, getting like really warm, adding cardio in, and just trying to breathe and really enjoying the stretch. Okay, I have one last question. If you could give a pole dancing lesson to any celebrity, who would it be? I'd say Shakira, because I love the way she moves her body and she has a lot of hair. So I feel like I could give her like hair slash pole choreography. Hi, my name is Nadia Sharif and you're watching Pole World News.